what we're going to demonstrate now is the essence of perpetual motion. <clears throat> and it's still a prelude to what I'm going to do with the generator and make it just run itself perpetually and there'll be no batteries, there won't be anything. But I'm going to show you even with the battery, it's perpetual motion. And nobody will be able to do what I'm fixing to show you. Nobody can reduplicate what I'm going to show you. Um, so you know that it works. Um, now right now, I'm going to just check the voltage on this battery so that you can visually see it. And that battery is 11.87 volts. <clears throat> now what you're going to see, just so you'll know, when you put batteries, we have 10 batteries that's going to run Big Eureka in series. Now when you put batteries in series, the current is equivalent to what's in one battery only. You multiply the voltage, but the current is of one battery. <clears throat> if you want to keep the voltage the same, you put all the batteries in parallel. And then you'll only have 12 volts. This is a teal motor, and when I hook it to this battery, it's going to make it plummet. <clears throat> this motor is bought from Granger, and it draws 10 amps under load. Now, I'm not pumping water <clears throat> because of the fact that it'll just kill this battery. Now what I'm going to do is hook this to this voltmeter and all I have to do is touch the voltmeter to the battery and it will run the motor and show you the battery voltage at the same time. Now you see it plummeting already. What's it on? Call it out. I can't see it. 1, 11.4, 11.48, 11.49. All right. Now you can see how much. 11.48, 11.481, 11.47. Eleven four seven, eleven four six eight, eleven four six one two, seven. It's kind of leveling off right now. No, no, it's not eleven. It's, it's fluctuating down to eleven uh, four point five, or point four five. Eleven point three. All right, it's pulling that battery on down. It's the same thing that I have up here on this Granger catalog that's put out by the so-called experts. <clears throat> As they make this motor bigger, as this mass gets bigger, uh, this is 89 pounds, and it draws uh, four, uh, 4.4 amps. If you're using 460 volts, and it draws 2.2 amps, excuse me, 2.2 amps if you're using 460, and the 4.4 amps if you're drawing 230. Now let's go on down to a 2200 pound <coughs> motor and it's going to draw 225 amps. Now the heat loss in a motor is the current squared times the resistance. So your heat loss in that motor is very, very high. In some motors they draw so much current they have to have water or some means to cool it because the heat is so high. Now I'm going to run a seven and a half thousand pound motor off of these batteries in series and the current is equivalent to what's in one battery. <clears throat> you saw this little motor <clears throat> start bringing this down very quickly. <clears throat> what I'll show you is the essence of perpetual motion because we will run a seven and a half thousand pound motor and we'll run it for 20 minutes, which I had already done. And then I had Jed come over and shoot it yesterday because I knew that the battery voltage had gone back up overnight to 119 volts. <clears throat> and this graph right here will show you this results, okay, and you can see over here on this, if you pull it up, <clears throat> in the self-explanatory, as you read this information of what is happening as we run the first test, and then we run the second test, and notice something. At the end of each test, <clears throat> the battery voltage was 118.4 volts. On both tests, showing that there was no voltage drop. And overnight, they'll both go back up because the night before it went back up to 119 volts. And that's a dead volts. It's a float volts. Now, when you put it under load, it pulls it down just like when you saw this little motor. And it's not even under load. That little motor pulled it down, this battery down. <clears throat> Yet a 7,500 pound motor doesn't pull it down. We run it for a total of 40 minutes, and that's what you're going to see now. And that's the essence of perpetual motion, because no one else can demonstrate to you what I now demonstrate to you. This is, again, 
the second part or the prelude to perpetual motion. See the time is 217. That's PM. 118 to 117. All right, now we're gonna let it run for 20 minutes. Twenty minutes will be two thirty-seven. We'll turn that off, but we'll check the voltage before we turn it off. <clears throat> now it's picking that water up five feet, and you can see how big that diaphragm is back there. Uh, it's over five thousand pounds. All right, we're going to walk in the back. Now, you can shoot all the way down this motor so they can see how big it is. This piston is a foot across. You got air pressure at 14.7 pounds per square inch. There's a steel plate underneath this rubber that this is bolted to. And then when it goes up and down, it's taking over 5,000 pounds because we're lifting this water five feet. Not one foot, five feet. If you were lifting it one feet, time you do the numbers on this, it's 1,160 pounds. Now you lift it five feet, it's five times that. All right, it's 237. It's fixing to be 238. He had to get his camera. Uh, and this water is fixing to come out again because it takes it a few seconds on each pump to get up there. But we'll check the voltage in the meantime. 117 to 118. 117 to 118. 117 to 118. 117 to 118. I was being very conservative when I told you the good battery is going to have 12 and a half volts. That's true on the conventional battery. This tells you they charge this with a little over 14 volts. It's what they use to charge these batteries and they'll be having 13.8 volts on the battery when it's fully charged, and it says so right here. And you verified that, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, these are made for the military. That's why I bought them. They can take high surges of current without damaging the elements in the battery. Uh, and that's why that these batteries are still running, and this is running basically at the same speed it was when we started off. And we haven't hurt these batteries and we'll check it one more time before we cut it off Eighteen, one seventeen. there we go and with that we're going to cut it off